Hey there peeps, welcome to the channel, I am Parky P and today we are carrying on our playthrough of Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. Look how pretty this area is. Look at that. Stunning. Uh, in the last episode we defeated the folding screen monkeys, which was not a boss fight really, it was a puzzle. And we've acquired, as you could probably tell from our back, a new blade. The Mortal Blade. Um... So yeah, it feels good. I'm hopefully going to test this out. Uh, do I need to use any of it? Mortal draw. Uh, leaving a reddish black noxious mist. The seeping mist extends the range of the blade. A technique using the blade that cannot be drawn. It costs per as well. That cannot be drawn is a feat. Only the oathbound of the divine air could use, could achieve. Well, we'll equip it anyway, um, because it's going to be able to kill enemies that cannot die. If you recognise this area, there are enemies that cannot die here, namely these folks. Crap. <laughs> well, not a good start. Oh god. I'll pop a heal. Why can I hear someone else? Also, he's getting his health back. Get away from me. Come on. Oh god. No, 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 no. Oh, crap. So that's how it's getting his health back. Okay. So what if I just, like, do that? Yeah! So is it actually dead? Um, it's not I was about to say it's not come back it, it has come back so how do I use this blade then uh hello whoops a fat wax I don't like that I can hear all this chanting so how do I use this blade is it a tool that I use or something? I don't know. Oh, I really don't know. Uh, it's not on there. Let's get the antidote powders back. Uh, what will draw? A technique using the blade that cannot be drawn is a feat, only the oath bound. So that and then that. Cusper I must use. No idea. No idea at all. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll ignore those for now then. Right. Let me rest up. Because that is perfect. And I'm going to travel to Kuro's room to let him know we've got this sword. Kuro. Alright, mate. Got something from you. That sword on your back. Is it? It is the mortal blade. Yes, the it sword is. That can kill those who cannot die. Yes, it was given to me by the divine child of the rejuvenating waters at Sempo Temple. The divine child Sempo Temple. of the rejuvenating waters? The monks at Sempo Temple abandoned the ways of their faith in pursuit of immortality. The result is those monks. who have false dragon's heritage. Known as the Divine Children of the Rejuvenating Waters. A false dragon's heritage. I never would have thought. Wait. Well, divine children? Children, yes. yes. Many were created, but only one survived. Further proof of the corruption this power brings to man. The ties of immortality must be severed. Yes, my lord. He is a good kid. 
So is there anything else? Wolf, look here. Oh, I found yes. something that may help us. It's a yes. stone. A stone. Yes, look at this. What kind of stone? Akami's ancient text, an old note left by the Akami clan who sought to reach the divine realm. A fragrant stone enshrined in a village within the depths of Ashina. One must throw, throw oneself for it to be found. With this, the fountainhead fragment, fragrance is complete. Let us depart now to the divine realm. What is? It's a writing by one who sought the fountainhead aroma. It says there's a sacred village with a stone that gives off a unique scent. But I haven't heard of such a village. Ew. It says here that it is beneath Ashina, Ashina, beyond the bottom of the Ashina. well you awoken, near the Moonview Tower. It says there is a bottomless hole. It may be relevant bottomless to hole. our search. I will take a look. Bottomless Good. hole. The text did say to throw oneself. I wonder what that could mean. I do not. <sighs> See if you can. Yeah, I think I know what that means. We're gonna have to jump down this hole. I'm sure there's a sculptor's idol called Bottomless Pit. Um, bottomless pit, bottomless pit, bottomless pit, bottomless hole. See, I knew there was something. Um, you know what? We'll go see how Lord Ishin is doing as well, and then we shall go to that woman who was after the rice and see what she's after. So we finally found the old lady. Uh, you may notice that my resurrections are a little down. Uh, did possibly die but you didn't see it so it don't count. Uh yes, let's let's talk to the old lady now. Fruits of the serpent, yes. There are two kinds. One is fresh. One is fresh, the other is, is dry. dry. It's over yes. there. The fresh one is over there. Over there. Oh that's where you fresh. Hmm? Rice, yeah. rice, rice, rice something. Yes, me. Yes, it's rice. Oh, there's no doubt. This is the divine child's rice. It is. Oh, thank you are correct. Thank heavens. Tell me, what do you see? Mm. Wow. She's a, a loud eater. Come on, woman. Why a kite? Fly a kite. Winds up a bed. Fly a kite. Mm. Uh. If it's fresh fruit you want, fly, fly a kite. kite. Wind the puppet. Mm. I know where there is a kite. There's one down there. I have a feeling I know where we've got to go. Back! Back, I say! So this is a kite. She says puppet. Now, uh, ninjutsu. Puppety and ninjutsu. I have a feeling that this may be a way forward. Possibly. I don't... Maybe. I'm going to try it anyway, in fact just before, how do we make sure we use it? After a backstab, Abby, okay. Oh god. Oh god. Is it... okay, so he is actually doing something. I assume I'm going to have to get up there. Uh, yeah, possibly. Right, let's try it. How do I get up? There we go. Right, more travelling. Where is this kite then? This string. Ah, there it is. Okay. Fresh fruit, fly kite. Yes, it's saying nothing. There's got to be a way up there. In fact, the spirit emblem's on there. 
Ah. Okay. Thank you very much. So now it's flying a kite. Progress. Please don't die. Please don't die. Please don't. Oh, thank God. Didn't die. We didn't die. Uh, Snapseed. Oh, no. That means illusions. We don't like illusions. So, where do I go? Is there an actual way down somewhere? I don't want to just be jumping off things again. There's got to be an actual way down, surely. Surely. I don't trust it though. Uh, right, I'm going to jump. I'm going to jump that way and hopefully we're going to grab hold of something. I don't know what it is going to be. Uh, yes. Okay. Okay. Keep swinging. Keep swinging. Keep swinging. Keep swinging. Yes. Oh. There's something up there, but I know now how to get there myself. Scrap magnetite. Let's drop down here. Is there anything on here? Yes. No. Uh, this skin. Oh no. This snake skin. Am I going to fight the serpent again? Or, well, I say fight the serpent. Run from the serpent. Oh, there's a bonfire though. Thank you for the bonfire. So where is this place? Sunken Valley Cavern. Have I been here before? Wait. Oh, it's part of the actually Sheena, whatever it is. Okay. Uh. Another item. I'll gladly pick that up. Maybe a balloon of spirit. Thank you very much. Sunken Valley Passage. There's nothing here. Uh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh. Oh. I assume. I'm going to kill this snake, or at least attack it. It looks so innocent curled up though. Also I'm floating, slightly. Uh. Right, okay. We're... I'm going to jump, and we're going to cross our fingers and hope for the best. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, and again. Okay. Oh my god. Is Fresh Serpent Viscera the person like heart of a great serpent? The great serpent is considered to be a god of the land. And the heart is believed to be what, where one spirit resides. While its shape bears similarity to a persimmon, in fact, this is the red viscera of a god. It is safe to assume that eating it would be poisonous to one's health. I've killed the snake. I've actually killed the snake. That is a great thumbnail. One second. Right, okay. So, with the great snake dead. Where is this bridge? Oh, that's the gun fort. I tried to run across this bridge and it snapped. Okay. Right. 
Let's see what items are lying around. Maybe a balloon of soul. Lovely, there's a cave to go in. And I thought there was an item there, it's just the water instead. Let's go into the cave. Items, oh, items. Dragon's blood droplet and bundled Jizu statue. Small Buddha effigy, effigy uh, I can't talk. Effigy bound in red cloth. Raising prayer between one's palms to restore a node of resurrective power. To enswath a Jizu statue is to express feelings of parental love. This bundle of cloths is to at least ensure that the little one goes on in peace. Oh. Uh. Okay. So, where do I go? Is there anywhere to actually go? I've no idea. I can't see another grapple part. Uh. Hmm. No idea. I'm gonna leave that episode there for today, though, guys. Uh, we've, we've killed the giant serpent. I've just hit the microphone. Once again, we've killed the giant serpent. I'm not gonna hit the microphone this time. Uh, a lot of traveling around this episode. A lot of getting bits done, but say we've ended it with a great set piece of killing the giant serpent. I keep saying it because I can't really believe it. Uh, this has been Sekiro. I've been Parky P. If you've enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like on it. Comment what you have enjoyed but also what you haven't enjoyed. But most importantly make sure to hit that subscribe button for more Sekiro Shadows Die Twice and for more content from me. Once again I've been Parky P and I shall see you all next time.